Yo, what's up, guys? It's Nick from Begins Gaming, and welcome back to another MLB The Show 20 Diamond Dynasty videos today. It's Thursday, but it's content day, and the reason why it's Thursday is because of the holiday weekend. They do this every year. They release the content a day earlier so that they get the whole weekend off. It's cool. So, today's Thursday, and we have the content. Uh, so, there's Player of the Month. There is a new... There's a new headliner, which is pretty interesting, and there's some more stuff to come up. So, like in all update videos, we go to the calendar. Today, the 21st, monthly awards, unlock May, Lightning, Flashback, Carlos Correa. Uh, headliners pack featuring signature flashback, Cole Hamels, and set 21. Tomorrow, Friday, we get the new event, but it's with the same reward, so I'm not going to make a video on it. Build a squad with switch hitters and all-stars, literally the same thing, except replace breakout cards with all-star cards. On Tuesday the 26th, we have the new headliners pack featuring another future star. In or On the 29th, which is on Friday, a week from tomorrow, we have the fourth inning program, battle three new bosses in the fourth inning showdown, with a new headliners pack featuring an awards legend player in set 23. That's what's coming up. So let's get into the update now. So for the monthly awards, I, I I was just hoping for pitchers, and I did get one in this Alex Wood, which I will go over. Uh, but the main card is this Carlos Correa, 95 overall. This is literally from the season that they cheated. So this is a cheated Carlos Correa card. 101, 96 contact, 99, 84 power, 77 vision. Those are really good numbers. Too bad he cheated. <laughs> 80 fielding, that's gold tier at short. 97 arm strength, that's incredibly good. 80 arm accuracy, 79 reaction. He's he's a good card. Hey, it just sucks that they had, that he had to cheat to get this card. I will never I will never let go of that as a Yankees fan that they cheated. Um, at 90 points, you have this Alex Wood, who I'm excited for. I hope he's good. His stats aren't really that amazing, but I hope that his windup and his pitches make him good because I need starting pitching. I'm so bad with my starters. Uh, 84 stamina is pretty bad. 80, 100 per nines, eh. 86 velocity, solid. 76 control, 75 walks per nine. That's not the greatest. 80 breaks, also not the greatest. Sinker, changeup, knuckle curve, two seam. But the thing about Alex Wood is that he has one of the glitchiest windups in the game, and it's very hard to hit. So hopefully this card is good. We have the 88 overall Derek Dietrich. I'm sure Kevin Giotti is thrilled to have this card back. It's another great card. 87, 77 contact, 120, 62 power. Just really good stats. He's eh against lefties, but he's just insane against righties. Horrible fielding, but he can play a lot of positions. Just a, another great free card. 87 overall Hector Neris. Now on paper, this card is really good, excluding the control and per nine, and then the walks per nine. The per nines are good, but the walks per nine and the control isn't. But he just doesn't have a good pitch repertoire. This card is going to get shelled and ranked. Don't even bother putting him in ranked. And then we have the Brandon Crawford, 86 overall. 101, 102 for contact. Eh, power, eh, vision. Incredibly good fielding. You're not going to see that card in ranked too often, but hey, that's whatever. So we have the four stages. Stage one, these are all the missions. You can tally RBIs with Giants, exchange Giants. There's moments, so 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, and then you do the exchange. Gets you stage one. Stage two, these are the missions. Same thing. Do all the moments and do, an ex and do the exchange. You get the 25. Stage three, same thing. Do all the moments and get the exchange done you get 25 and then for the alex wood you have 4 8 12 15. you still have 15 and you have an exchange so if you just do all the moments and all the exchanges you'll get it and you don't have to do the exchanges if you don't want to they're not that hard but you can do some of the missions you just need 10 other points besides the moments and you'll get the carlos correa and just like last time, the Carlos Correa has a prestige diamond. Here's the Carlos Correa. I'm not going to go over it. It's just plus three in every stat. So here he is. All right. So on to the headliners now. We all know what happened last time with the headliners. I pulled 
the Mac Camp twice. And I'm looking to do that again because the Cole Hamels is going for a lot. And I would love to have this card in my rotation. Now, at first, I didn't think this card was going to be that good, but he does look really good. 112 stamina. 91 98 per 9s is good. 82 velocity is a little low, but 99 break, 88 control, 90 walks per 9 is really good. This card represent is or this card is similar to that John Franco, but with better with pretty much better everything. And just different pitches. So that that's really what this Cole Hamels is. He's he's good. Uh he, like I said, he's going for a lot, so I really, I really want to pull them. And I also have a bunch of packs that I saved from, uh, so what I'm going to do from now on is I'm saving all my packs and I'm opening all of them with the headliners because I don't want a video where I just go over the content and just open like one or two packs. I don't really want to do that anymore. I'd rather go over the content sort of quickly and then just open a bunch of packs so I can title it like pack opening instead of content. But yeah, silver pack, got it from Showdown. 1 to 399 odds that I pulled diamond. Don't get it. All right. Three team affinity packs. These are pretty much standard packs. And we get a gold. All right. Xander Bogarts, I'll take it. Team affinity packs have been very interesting. I've gotten a lot of good diamonds out of these, but I've also opened a ton of these. Because these, you don't, you can't buy them. You get them by doing team affinities, and I've done a ton. Uh... So here's a bonus to have a pack from a team affinity. Common, bronze, bronze, silver, diamond. Okay. We pulled the diamond out of the bonus to have a pack. I'll take it. All right. Who's it going to be? American League. Starting pitcher. If this is Charlie Morton, it's either Garrett Cole or Charlie Morton. Oh, it's Charlie Morton. God dang it. I can't really complain, honestly, because... It's, it's a free diamond because it's from Team Affinity, and I did pull Matt Kemp twice on Tuesday, but I would much rather have that Garrett, that Garrett Cole. All right, first headliner pack. I'm probably going to do multiple bronze, 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 silver. All right. Second pack. Let's see what we get. And common, bronze, bronze, gold. All right, I'm opening one more, and let's see what happens. Give me the diamond. Common, bronze, bronze. Silver. Uh, I want to open one more. <sighs> Screw it, I'm opening one more. I'm really gonna regret that. Common, bronze, bronze, gold. We can't end like that. Uh, you know, I have 600k. I I'm, I'm opening this last pack. I know I'm gonna regret it. Common, bronze, bronze, silver. All right, well, it's whatever. I, I gambled after what happened last time, and I pulled all five headliners. It's whatever. I pulled a Charlie Morton, so that is a diamond pull, just out of a bonus of habit pack. Where's Charlie Morton? Charlie Morton, 13K. And if you guys are wondering, I did actually buy that Spencer Howard. I tried him out in one game. He got completely destroyed. He gave up eight runs in three innings, but I'm not giving up on him after one game. That's why I was at, like... 680k bought that spencer howard and then i just got all those packs so yeah uh that's going to be it for this video normally i'll have from now on i'll have more packs but i started saving my packs like last night so and also because it's two days so i'm gonna have a lot more packs for these videos uh so yeah that's gonna be it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed uh, now I'm going to have to buy Cole Hamels on my own if I even want to. It's whatever. That's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I've been your host, Nick from Big Ends Gaming. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. One more thing to add on to this video that I just saw right after is that they have a monthly awards collection now. So this is going to be added to the end of the video. Uh, yeah. Collect lightning flashbacks from the monthly awards series. Look for more rewards to be added later. And these, that's a lot of stuffs. 3,000 for collecting two. 3,500, 4,000. I think that getting all six is going to get you a really good 99 card in, like, October. So, uh, yeah, if the season does come back and these cards aren't available for free, I might still do it now, now that there's probably going to be an insane collection for it. Um... Uh, 
yeah, even if we don't have a season at all in the MLB, I'm, I'm, okay, if all these cards are free and you just grind to get them, that's nice. But let's say the final two months of the of this collection, so, or I'd say the final three, are actual, like, real player of the months from real life MLB, which will cost stubs to do. I, I might do this because it's going to have a nice collection. So, uh, yeah, now, actually, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I've been your host, Nick, for, I, uh, I have been your host, Nick, from Against Gaming, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.